As the war of words heats up between the U.S. and China, both countries are racing to secure rare earth materials needed for everything, from military technology to everyday consumer tech products. And the Department of Defense is spending millions. Brian Sullivan is live from a rare earth mine in Mountain Pass, California, with that story. Hi, Brian. Hey, Tyler, yeah, the rare earth mine, the only operating one in the United States. And by the way, big thanks to MP Materials. First time ever live TV. We are inside the mine. We are down deep. Jacob, zoom out and take a look at it. You guys are going to do the semiconductor story in a minute. They are different, but they are the same. Because while all the attention is on semiconductors with Apple and Intel and everything else, supply chain issues. Without this mine, we would be 100% reliant on China for the magnets that are going to power the electrification of everything. Electric cars, wind turbines, even dentures, MRI machines, they all contain these tiny magnets. An iPhone will have anywhere from 8 to 15 magnets, so it makes them vibrate, so it makes the AirPod work. This mine is about 15% of global rare earth production. And I'll give you a little geology lesson. The pink stuff there on the left, that's basmazite. They scoop it up. They crush it, they pull out the rare earths, they separate them, then they process it. Now, currently, they've got to process that in China, Tyler and Kelly, but next year, hopefully, they'll process here. So we are still reliant. It is not just about AirPods, though. As you noted in the intro, it's about military. They can't go into exactly what it's used for. But yesterday, the highest-ranking technology scientist, a geologist at the Pentagon, which, by the way, just recently put nearly $10 million into this facility they were here randomly. We did not know when we planned the trip, but we did get some words on camera. Dr. Stephanie Tompkins told us about why those rocks are so critical to national security. The magnets are embedded in a lot of different military systems. Um, for example, in aircraft, they will be part of many, many different subsystems. And the real importance of these magnets is that because of the powerful sort of magnetic properties, they allow you to have lightweight materials. If you had to replace the, the rare earth magnets with, say, more classic iron-based uh, materials, you, they would be so heavy and so bulky. Isn't that amazing, guys, that so much of this amazing technology we talk about in the future, electric car motors, comes from this giant bulldozers and 100 ton trucks i think it's just fascinating and tyler i'm going to give you a random but interesting geology lesson you remember the color tvs of the 1960s i do this is that mine all the europium that made the red red on the screen in the 1960s came from this mine and now they're finding all these advanced uses this mine has been here for 60 years shepherd smith here thanks for watching cnbc on youtube